All right, here we go. Thinking Game, episode 10. Welcome back. We're right back at you. So this episode, we're going to do something a little different. I want to talk about uh, where we come from, uh, our old school, McClellan, our old stumping grounds. And I know they're about to demo the school because I wrote about it the other day and they're working on it now. But one thing, like I said on Facebook, you can't demo the memories. You can't demo the people that went there. You can only demo the bricks and the mortar. So yeah, today, no, go ahead. Yeah, and the effects that it had on, you know what I mean? Yeah. So keep those definitely memories. have some effects, definitely. So uh, today's uh, McClellan memories, and this ain't the only day we'll be doing this. We'll probably be doing this over a period of time, just different days. But um, this is just the first of many, so um, we're just bringing it up. And uh, my first one is uh, when we first started going to McClellan was August 1998. Yeah, man, that's a long time ago. Beginning of high school, freshman. Man. And they didn't even have ninth graders there. It was just 10th, 11th, and 12th. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Boy, exactly. It wasn't even that many kids. It wasn't Mm -hmm. even that many, uh, wasn't even that many kids there. It felt like a lot. Did you go? You went to Dunbar and Clover? I went to, yeah, I went to Dunbar and Clover. I went to okay. um, Cloverdale, um, uh, seventh and eighth grade year. In the ninth grade, I went to Dunbar. Okay. Because uh, I went to like Rice which was right across the street from Dunbar. So I okay. knew more people at Dunbar. I knew less people when I was at uh, Boy, Cloverdale, Dunbar. but they were introduced to Southwest and Southwest mentality at, um, at Cloverdale. So I was a little bit more prepared, I feel, for uh, McClellan uh, than some of the other people was. I mean, you you grew up in Southwest too. No, I mean, no, no, well, no. it's the thing, well, you grew up in Southwest, but we kind of moved around a lot too. Mm, okay. So, you know, we um, moved around. I mean, we started in North Little Rock. We ended up in Southwest and by the time uh, I think about fourth or fifth grade, we just kind of settled when we went to Chico. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, went to Dunbar from there. But then we was in Southwest then pretty much after that, from that point on. So I guess I did. But we, we was on, see, we was at Butler Road Apartments at one point. Oh, yeah. That's and then we was in Trailer Park. And then we uh, lived on Impala over there off Chico. And that's when it kind of, being in the Southwest was like, you know, different. So you can feel that, dude. You, you can feel, feel the real Southwest, can you, you know what I mean? Because, you know, sometimes you be feeling like, oh, well, you're in different parts of, I mean, we're talking, I'm, now we're just talking about our city and there's something very close. So it might not resonate to some other people, but like sometimes. Yeah, because you, you stayed like, on 65th mostly. Yeah, yeah. And most it, definitely. When we were high, I was on Chico, pretty much like the other side of Southwest on Chico and mm-hmm. all that, back up in there, off Chico Road. So, and, um, like I say, you was a, it was different kind of dudes, right? Like I know well, when like I was going to high school, yeah. Dunbar was kind of that gang, the gang age almost. Then it kind of died down. Or yeah. in Southwest, it was more hustlers. I guess what what on the, where I was at on Chico and stuff like that. It was more dudes that was hustling. It wasn't about the gang stuff like that when uh when I was coming when I was going to McClellan. So it was more dudes hustling at that time. I guess a lot of dudes went to jail probably from uh. Doing the game, yeah, so it, it felt like it was real bad down. during a certain amount, a certain period of time. But I guess the city the neighborhoods was segregated. It was kind of, it was, it was actually the thing about it. Southwest is kind of big. You know what I mean? You got Chico, then you got like uh, yeah, you got Chico, the other part of baseline, kind of close to Art yeah, Street, more side, yeah. like over there, uh, over there by like was it uh, uh, Sawyer's and Baseline Elementary, yeah, Pinecone, down Pinecone area. Yeah, like it was just almost different. The people, mm-hmm. we're all from Southwest, but it's like, they were so different. Like, you got to think even from, uh, you know, if you don't Chico, have a car, it's real big. Like a rap hole in yeah. the Chico area. Um, that's almost like two um Yeah, if you don't have a car, cities. Southwest real big. If you don't have a car. Oh, boy, yeah. If you got a car, you feel like, oh, man, you just ride all through Southwest. Yeah. And, uh, man, we might do that one day. We might put a camera on the dash or something, <laughs> man, roll through Southwest. Man, <laughs> no, you ride. might see some different things. Yeah. Man. But it just don't seem as lively now. It just seems like nah, less people, same. like a lot of the like Everybody restaurants older, and man. businesses are like kind of a little bit gone. I mean, of course, people who's you know older and grown. It just don't yeah. seem like people are as people aren't uh there's many people outside. No, like you know, no. we used to stay outside, you know yeah. what I mean? It used to always be something kind of uh, you know, I always worked like I think I had my first, I don't know if it was a real job, but I think it was just because you know the, um Working at BP, you mean, do you remember? You remember BP? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah on Baseline Chico. It's a Chinese gas station in there, but worked there, man. Um, shout out to Greg, man. Working with him, man. He was dating my mom at the time, but 
He got me a job working up there with him changing tires and mm-hmm. stuff, man. Learned a lot about cars and changing tires, all kind of stuff. Learn about people, man. Um, learn about yourself. All <laughs> kind of, yeah, learn about myself. Learn about all kind of people, man. It's, it's almost like meeting the, the wise. Like you see everybody come through there and just mm-hmm. meet people and stuff. 